there's oh another banana gosh. slug. We had a banana slug on it the last time. Let's okay. check it out. So, yeah. wow, this must have been... We met with Allison at Jones Gulch YMCA camp for her to have an opportunity to look at the site and see if there's any clues or things that she can pick up from the environment since we want to learn as much about this particular tree and its life as it relates to um, its location. So this is a huge fire cavity. So we see evidence, this is clear evidence. She is a dendrochronologist, which means that she studies tree rings. Her literal job is to measure, decipher, and collect um, data of redwood trees across the coast. See how this is curved in a little bit? Yep. And so when we look at the uh, cookie, we're gonna see how the tree responds to a fire. Every year after the fire, the tree tries to seal over that wound, but usually doesn't quite make it. These areas can record multiple fires because they're more vulnerable and susceptible yeah. to fire in this area. There's a chance that what's going on with this stump is that it's a living stump, and when it was cut, there might have been teeny, teeny growth rings occurring after the cut where the tree was having its resources from underground supporting wild. this tree sealing over. Wow. And so we'll be able to tell that for sure when we get into the studio. We're gonna go back centuries on this sample. We're standing in front of one of three cookies that we uh, collected from Jones Gulch YMCA camp. And this is the middle cookie. This is the top one. And then outside is a third one. I have now prepped this one for Allison to look at the rings. But this has been sanded now with 40, 80, 120, 150, 220, 320, 400, and then 600 grit. In this section, there's 460 rings. Okay. Each one of these is a ring, so you can see here, this is the early wood. It grows in the spring. It's often called spring wood. And this dark band is the late wood. And together, that makes one year of growth. Wow. So I'm gonna just start on the end. I'm just gonna mark every 10 years and just create a grid so that we have something to um, organize as we move through. So this is so cool that you're interpreting this piece, and so it's nice to um, follow you along on this journey. This is art and science in one piece. Yeah. Traditionally, cross-dating was done with pen and paper. So we, they, uh, dendrochronologists would make little marks, either uh, small ones or large ones, just based on how they're visually seeing the rings Whoa. on strips of paper, and they would match them up. Whoa. So now we have computers to help us to do that. So I've simply turned my basic desktop scanner upside down. And I'm gonna take an image of this section of the tree. Here's a scan and you can see we have the image on the screen. I have my ruler here for scale, just if I wanna check. And now I'm gonna measure these rings. So here we go, you see this tiny one? Yes, oh my goodness. That's 1834, and that hits exactly with one of my markers. This is about 1550, this is about 1850. 1850. So roughly we'll say 300, 300 years between these two big Whoa. fire events. Check out this section over here. This is pretty cool. So right here, so we're thinking the tree was cut right after that year of growth. Wow. And all these tight rings, we believe, occurred after the tree was cut, and there was just minimal that's half an inch of growth. Yeah, but just enough energy to keep this um, supplied. And so this shows us that in this near century, since the tree was cut, there's been this um, energy that's been provided to the stump and it's been trying to seal over or cap off on the top. One question that we went into when we first collected was whether or not that 
tree was actually still a living specimen and it turns out that it is and so that is super exciting so I, I feel like we really landed um, a really special specimen to work with um, that is going to allow us to tell a pretty big story about redwoods. Yeah, this is an amazing tree. This is an amazing tree. Yeah, we were able to tell a lot wow. from this tree. Wow, wow, wow.